the moment I'm writing some Christmas cards and this year I got those and they're actually, you can plant them after you read it and I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> also this one, I think it's so, so sweet. And then this is one of my favorite pictures I made this year and also this one. Um, it says like crazy in German and I just realized that this year especially I had like so much joy looking into the sky and yeah I think also the word crazy really does fit to this year and um, yeah this is actually also my lock screen at the moment ちょっと待っ Hello, hello. Um, I just came home, um, as you might already could tell from the beginning. And it is pretty, pretty weird to be home again, also in this room. I think it's the first time that I really had to adjust, like also with my sleep. I think the first three nights I was sleeping very bad, but um, I have to say that this time I was especially really excited to come home and I just recognize that every time I come home it is just so good for me, just a perspective change and every time you appreciate home more. I think I say that every time but um, I think changing the location where you live um, is really important and gives me a lot um, a lot of new thoughts um, yeah and Christmas was really nice obviously quite different because it was the first time that we celebrated only like the four of us and not my grandpa um, 
but it was still um, a pretty nice Christmas and I feel like I'm just eating 24-7 <laughs> which is great and um, yeah other than that I have been just resting and trying to read more and I try to play a tiny bit of guitar and piano sometimes. On Christmas we sang as a family, it was pretty fun um, because then I also realized how how I haven't been really singing a lot because in, in school I went to some choirs and it was something that I really did enjoy a lot. Um, my mom was always saying <laughs> that I was smiling so much during like concerts and stuff and yeah it was something that I really did enjoy during uh, yeah school and now I thought it would be maybe fun to um, maybe look also a bit back on 2020 and see maybe it's interesting for you what I learned because I think for me it was really valuable year and I think I changed so much during the time and started to do a lot of more different things and I would also love to know if you have anything to share like something you learned or something you discovered knew about yourself or an activity you started to do I would love to know uh, first of all I have to say like those things that I learned are not like mind-changing world-changing things that you have not heard before but I think um, if you don't, don't like experience it yourself, you don't really learn that. For that I mean, for example, I learned a lot this year to value other people's opinions less than I did before. I still value them very highly, but I think I reduced the amount of thinking and overthinking I put into that um, quite a lot. and. I think we all always hear you, you should not value what other people think but then doing it and practicing it and actually don't overthinking it is really hard and but that I think I kind of overcome this year with starting YouTube and I have to say that I'm pretty proud of myself that I started that and I still can't really believe that that I'm actually sharing what my life is and what I'm thinking what I'm believing in since I never saw myself being a good talker and I still don't think that's one of my strengths but um, YouTube has been just such a cool place for me to create and I really did enjoy like editing and stuff and I just also realized how much um, pictures and videos, um, how much value they are, they're giving me because I think I'm the person who watches my own videos the most because I guess especially the ones with like friends. Um, I think my favorite video was camping with friends when we were in Germany because I think I watched it like 20 times since for me it really brings back the emotion and um, that's something I really don't regret filming and yeah that's something I really am still learning with like accepting people not liking or viewing videos um, but yeah that's something I really did learn this year and another thing is which is also really important is that I realized that if I want to get to know a person, have a um, friendship or just when I'm interested in someone um, that I really find cool like sometimes you think oh they're such a cool person in my class I would love to know more about their interests or their hobbies and you kind of would love to get to know someone more or also an activity or something you really have to do the first step I mean, you can also pray about it, but in the end, um, I think so often I was waiting way too much or like 
thinking uh, why would I should text that person I mean that's a bit weird or why should I I don't know I think that's something I learned this year just text a person say like I I think you're really cool at this or that would you like to chat about that or in school I also have that often if I don't know um I think this year I try to be more open about what I find, what I really like about people. I think I, oh, I'm so bad at explaining, but like often you think, you see that Instagram picture and you think, oh, that's so cool, but it would be so weird to text. But then I always remind myself, like everyone would be really happy about a compliment right like why would you be mad or why would you be like who's that person um i think that is something i really want to continue to do more to just um say things that i think and give people compliments about anything i find cool because it makes some people stay and that is so important um, because I remember one time I was in, in Tokyo and there were two girls sitting in front of me and the whole train ride I was thinking ah, oh, maybe I should tell them because I really found their style pretty cool but in Japan it's even weirder not weird just unexpected to um, have a stranger saying a compliment if you compare it to America maybe because there I think people are more open about that and I think we rode the same train about 30 minutes and then they got out at the same train station and I really uh, got myself up to tell them yeah I, I really like your style and then I went away because I was also a bit like nervous about that but um, after like two minutes they came like running back to me and we exchanged like Instagrams and we still like follow each other and it's not about that following each other but they were so so like I think it never happened in their life that a stranger said something to them and it's a bit sad I think sometimes that we often forget to say the obvious things um, and I think some people have to hear that more and I don't know, I think it's just nice to make people happy and I want to continue to do that. And I feel like I've rumbled so much, but um, I hope you maybe can also share some, um, yeah, some things you experienced this year and that you would like to share that might be inspiring. And I think that's also something that I just wanted to um, that's kind of like my goal to to ramble and hope that someone gets inspired by how I'm thinking because that's what I value the most about YouTube because um, I like to watch as I already said like Imina and Taimi they're German YouTubers but also Yusuf and what I value is just their thoughts and just their inspiring things that they do and yeah sorry if this video is long but one thing I wanted to share from the youtuber Imina she actually said that every year she has like a mason jar or something and over the years she collects all the beautiful things or memories that happens to her so um, throughout the year when something nice happens she writes it on a note and puts it in a jar and I think that is such a cool thing because imagine like in I don't know 20 years you have like all of those jars from each year and you can just reread and relive your best memories from that year and I definitely wanted to start that for the up, yeah upcoming year and maybe you also want to do that I think it's such a cool idea and I'm yeah I just love to journal and relive memories I'm really obsessed with that and yeah for that being said I hope you enjoyed this video um yeah and I hope you're having a nice day